Cardinals, Broncos, and Seahawks Friday night, uh, first preseason game. Uh, give me two or three players who have to impress in the first two preseason games in order to make it past the first cut, which comes after the second preseason game. Give me a couple of names. Uh, well, I was going to take that in another direction. I, I'm curious about some of those low draft choices they had. There are a couple of guys that were, they picked in the secondary. That Dawson Nixon. Yeah, I don't see them making this team. And they're you think Elway would, would, would cut know, his draft choice? That's the thing. I, I could see them trying to slip them onto the practice squad. He did that last year with, uh, with Paradise, didn't he? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think those guys, Dawson, Doss uh, the other guy. It's Nixon, I think, Nixon, right? Nixon, yeah. Nixon? Uh, I'd like to see them on the field. I don't want to see if they can play at all. Uh, that would be, again, somebody, but I don't know that I'm going to be able to see it not being in Seattle. I was told they kind of like Doss, that he's done a pretty good job of training I'm kind of curious about Taylor, who's gotten some talk, Jordan Taylor. Yeah. The wide receiver out of Rice, a free agent. Is he this year's jump-out free agent? I haven't seen a free agent yet that I'm just totally overwhelmed by that I go, whoa, that's this year's Chris Harris uh, or C.J. Anderson. But we're going to find that out. There will be a couple of guys that come up that we haven't really talked about. I want to see – somebody that you and I like. Is Chris Clark going to be cut? I mean, is he just in Ben Garland? They're both on the second team, offensive yeah. line. I think you've got to pay attention to them because I don't think if they start, I don't think they're going to be on this team. Well, I think in Garland's case, I, I think that's true. I, I mean, it seems like he's still having trouble adapting to the offensive side of the ball. He used to be a defensive lineman. I don't lineman. think they like Chris Clark at all. I, well, yeah, it's hard to figure out the Chris Clark thing. Two years ago, he's the starting left tackle. Last year, he's the starting right tackle, but he's yanked after five or six games. This year, he goes into camp listed as the starting right tackle, but he's already been yanked. But, but I still I see him as insurance, Woody, especially when you have a rookie at left tackle in Sembrelo. But where again, I, I you got Schofield. He's a tackle. How many tackles are you going to keep? They keep nine. Clark, Schofield, Sembrelo, Ryan Harris. That's four. But what do you mean? That's four tackles. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you say that again? I lost. Schofield. It. I thought you were counting off the eight or nine Schofield, guys. Schofield, Chris Clark, Sambrello, and um, Ryan Harris. That's one more than they usually keep hmm. at the tackle position. I just don't. S Has Chris Clark been that bad? I just. Don't. <laughs> well, I, I mean, they know he can play me, both positions. You ask me who I want to watch. Yeah. I would like to watch him. Seattle's a good team with depth. Yeah. That you got to see him and Garland to see if they're just waste of time yeah. here because they've got. Uh, you you think they're going to keep the Gradkowski who they brought in and played in the Baltimore system as at least a backup center. He's not. Much, I mean. Garcia, is he going to be a swing guy? You're going to have him? I, I, there's not a lot. I mean, there's there's only like two sets of offensive linemen. Do they keep any of the, the guys that... Uh, I don't know. I think Sol not, for me, Solomon Patton is one of those guys. He has to show something in the first two games in order to make it past the first cut. Do, his size doesn't help. How He's, about uh, Antonio Smith? Oh, Antonio Smith was getting some reps with the first team this past week. Well, they got Vance so, Walker, so I, who I think I is think, going to be the starter. I think Antonio Smith is important to this team right now. Hmm. In a 3-4, how many defensive linemen do you want to keep on this roster? Six? You, yeah. You'd have kept seven yeah. I got the year. impression. I got the impression um, that Gary's going to keep a lot of his linebackers. You're going to see a yeah. lot of linebackers yeah, on this team. I told you last team. week, I thought there'd be yeah. eight or nine. Because of the injuries to Trevathan and Marshall and because he likes the speed of and the depth of the linebacking core for special teams. Yeah. Steven so. Johnson, I think, is a bubble guy, but he's a guy they, they've started here. But they like Corey Nelson. He's liked. Who's the other guy that came in last year? Yeah. Todd Davis. Davis. Todd yeah. Davis and Corey Nelson. Barrel is going to stay around as an inside linebacker. That's three right there. Yeah, uh, they drafted a guy that's a linebacker. 
They drafted so, a linebacker this year? I thought they did. But that's three, and they got the four starters. That's seven. So uh, I think uh, that's eight, actually. That's eight. Okay. So uh, any of those other guys that they brought. Oh, Reggie Walker played for uh, Chargers for five or six years. He is so far down the depth chart, I can't even see him. He's like periscope depth. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right, uh, so I've got, I've got Solomon Patton has to play well in the first two games to get past the first cut. Um, and I'm thinking Joe Don Duncan might have to as well because I think James Casey has the lead in the fullback uh, situation. There. They're only going to keep one yeah. fullback. I think Joe, Joe Duncan, but here's the, what I think, which kind of hit me, is Virgil Green and Owen Daniels, I think they could slot in Casey and Duncan as Possibly. guys that are the tight ends and not keep those other guys because – the, the third guy was kind of hurt, has been kind of hurt, and then the fourth guy we haven't heard anything about. Yeah, Jones. I might Dominic think they Jones. might only keep three. Joe Don, Dan Nuckin impresses me every time. I sat and listened to him the other day. I've heard him on the radio. He's such an interesting story. I think they'd like to play him. He's 270 pounds, Les. Big He's guy. He's 270 Very physical. pounds. Yep. And he coached last year, so he, he's a coachable guy because he has been a coach. He is one of those guys, we mentioned Lumpy Hyde, you have to go back to the 70s, that you couldn't, he was like a vampire, you couldn't kill him, they couldn't get rid of him. He just, I don't know that Duncan's going to allow you to cut him. I think he's just going to do, what do you want me to do? I'll go play safety. You know, whatever you want me to do, I'll carry the water. I'll do. Well, I mean, bottom line here, you cannot cut a guy named Joe Don Duncan. You just can't. That segment brought to you by Papa John's. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's.